Gustav Klimt's The Kiss. He didn't use a lot of gold. He used real gold and he used real silver as well. We only have 12 shillers, but they're all masterworks. Okay. Every single one is a masterwork. And this is called the, the cabbage head. In Vienna, obviously, you feel like you're constantly surrounded by the work of Otto Wagner. Because he was a visionary. The conviction that I've written nothing that I should be ashamed of forms the foundation of my moral existence. These words were said by the highly influential composer Arnold Schoenberg, and today we're at the Arnold Schoenberg Center here in Vienna, and I get to talk to Teresa, the head archivist here, who's going to explain to me a bit about what the center here does and how you seek to honor his legacy. The main purpose is to maintain the legacy of Arnold Schoenberg, all his music manuscripts and text manuscripts and paintings and drawings, letters and library. <laughs> Amazing, wow. Now we are entering Arnold Schoenberg's office. <laughs> and the whole material came from Los Angeles to Vienna. See, so these are his actual materials that the, he was the, working with. These are all, amazing. everything on here. Music without a constant reference to a tonic was comprehensible. Could produce characters and moods could provoke emotions and was not bare of being gay or humorous. And you would expect the composer to compose it at a grand piano, yeah. but um, he actually composed without using an instrument. all the personal pictures with his family and he was an old man. And this is the um, exhibition about Schoenberg photography covering 70 years of photo history. Famous people being photographed like Schoenberg with Albert Einstein or Schoenberg with Charlie Chaplin. Thank you very, very much for taking this time and showing us around the entire space. It's really impressive. You're welcome. Thanks. Here in Vienna's first district is an amazing little gem and a really important part of history as well. It's the Los American Bar. It was built and designed by Adolf Los. Still, when you come here, you get to be a part of this magnificent history and see the flawless interiors from the beautiful, beautiful mirror paneling around the ceiling, which makes everything here seem much larger than this quaint spot is. It's a great place to soak up intellectualism and some really good drinks, and in my personal opinion, it's one of the places to get the best martini in town. That was it for our episode on Viennese modernism, beauty and the abyss. Have a nice day. Cheers.